What is going on, Raj? In a whole different atmosphere, huh? Back here with the cage. Might as well be back here with the cage tonight. So we just decided to be back here with the cage. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's where we at. Because we're going to talk about a few things, okay? So before we get started, it's kind of late. I got to get ready to be in the bed, so I'm not going to be up here all night. We're not going to do a lot of question and answering. There's going to be more of the open boxing and getting right to a few other things I want to deal with, okay? So while we're doing that, I want you guys to go ahead on and get ready. I'm going to go ahead on and pull out. I should have had all this stuff out already that I want to deal with, but I'm going to grab it out the cage now, and then we'll get started, all right? All right, here we go. No music. We'll pull out anything we want to talk about. It's going to be, it's not going to be a long, long video, but it's going to be long enough, okay? So we're going in the cage and pulling out a few things. Did y'all see us said it has open boxing? Uh, no music. We don't want any music tonight. We're just going to chill. And we're going to talk about Andy Houses. So we got open boxing, Andy Houses. Because I'd like to give love to the indie houses. And uh, tonight I'm just going to deal with three indie houses, okay? And the reason I'm going to deal with these three indie houses is because even before I started hanging out at Perfumology with my main man there, one of these houses I was already getting down with and having a lot of fun with. So um, we're going to talk about that house. And then... um. Can y'all see me? It's a little, little dark in the lighting. I don't worry. We're going to make it sultry. It's going to be sultry. Okay? So, and then, okay, I think I got everything I need now. And then we're going to do, uh, we're going to do the open boxing. Okay? Let's get these here. So, before I get started, thank y'all for the opportunity to come out and holler at your boy. We get to sit down and do something a little bit cool tonight. A little bit different. Now, last night, y'all know I was out of Perfumology. My main man, Nair, his mom, Tally, and Brian. Y'all know I like to visit. They're only 20 minutes away from me. Right down the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So I get to go down the Turnpike. Bam, bam, bam. Talk to my peeps. Holler at Nair. Brian's there. Tally's there. No matter who's there. Mom's there. I talk to moms. And that's what we do, okay? So we're going to get it down. We're going to do a little something, something. And uh, time for another cage. Oh, no, bro. That's... Uh, there's plenty of room in that cage. I got more boxes and stuff in there than I have uh, some fragrances. But, you know, I like to dress it up. And I'll let y'all see my updated cage when I'm done. Uh, okay. Let's get right to it. Uh, almost. Let's talk about... Uh, you know, I, I like to give you something a little bit more than just fragrances. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, there's no need to even deal with fragrances. Because, you know... Fragrances on sick people don't smell as the same as fragrance on people trying to take care of themselves. Bam! This is what I picked up tonight. I'm going to start using this. I've been uh, eating Cascadian Farms for a while, but I realized that sugar is a killer. I had to look at the documentary. I'm more convinced that sugar is a killer. So I had to read this. It took about a half hour trying to find me a good cereal that I can uh, have. And this is it. Carbohydrates is low. I lost two pounds last night. I mean, not last night, the night before last, because I didn't eat, like, what was it? Thursday? Thursday morning. Because usually I weigh 210. I'm 210 all the time. And I woke up Thursday morning, because I didn't get a chance to eat Wednesday because I was working another shift. And, um, yeah, that was crazy. I woke up, I was two pounds. I had to sleep and I lost two pounds. Kind of crazy. Anyway, sugar's a killer. Leave them sodas alone. Leave high fructose alone. I'm trying to tell you for your own good. They're going to do nothing but kill you eventually. They, they, uh, the lie is fat and all that stuff gets to your bloodstream and kill you. It's not fats. It's not the trans fats. That's just something they told us so we would get misguided thinking everything is trans fats. So you end up with like this high blood pressure or high cholesterol and LDLs are, you know, really high and your HDLs are really, really low. They want to blame it on food. It's not. It's sugar. Stay with all the sugar you can. That means carbohydrates. Get healthy carbohydrates. You gotta stay away from French fries. You gotta stay from all this stuff, man. Eat the potatoes. You gotta stay away from it. If it's up to you, though. It's your life. I'm just a messenger. Kind. High fiber. Definitely need fiber in your life. As much fiber as you can get. Sugar's a very low 5G per serving. Very, very good. 
and I had me two. Actually, I bought it by mistake. I only meant to buy one, but I bought two. They're very expensive, but my life is worth the expense. Vanilla clusters, blueberry, and then we have the raspberry clusters, okay? Take care of yourself, people. Look, smelling good and getting to this fragrance game is nothing. You know, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but, you know, after, after you turn off the camera and everything, if you're popping a high blood pressure pill or you're popping an insulin pill or you're sticking a needle on your leg after you did a video because you're not taking care of yourself, I don't care about what you bring on the, on the screen when it comes to your fragrances. I, I care about your health. And that's why I try to give you all a nugget of health. Something healthy, but with the spiritual, I try to give you something every time. It's not just about fragrances, it's about everything. Okay? okay. First open boxing, because I've been waiting for this one longer than anything else, is a piece that I picked up in one of the fragrance groups. Stand it back up. Stand up. I picked this up in one of the fragrance groups, and his name is going to be my man Christopher. And we're going to pop this open. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. This is live. Now let people know this is live. Leather oud, huh? Everything's good. Everything's good. You know, kind of late. I got I'm supposed to be in the bed by 10, like it's going to be more 11, but it's okay. I got to be up at 6 15. As long as I get in a good seven hours, I'm good. Because sleep is very important, too. If you're not sleeping, getting the proper sleep, and you're not eating well, eating fast foods and lots of sugars, it's going to be a long struggle for you. Take better care of yourself, please. All right. So, um, this right here, I, 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 I caught my man e Dot for this. I'm like, E, my man's selling this right here at a nice price. What do you think? Because first I had uh, my man up here named Nate, who lives here and not too far from me. Y'all may know Nate Manning. And he doesn't live too far from me here. And he was selling, uh... Alright, go check on the ribs, baby. Go check on the ribs. Put some extra barbecue sugar sauce on them. Alright? Wow. Wow, this is sealed. Brand new to the nitty gritty. Everything was still on the back. Oud Vanille. By Man Sarah. Never smelled this ever. Blind by like I say, I call E dot. I like E, what's up? He was like, Get it, brother. Get it, brother. Y'all like it. Get it. So I said, Well, get it. But like I said, my man named Manor was selling Black Prestigium. So I was like, Between Black Prestigium and Uvanil, he's like, We know how I feel about Black Prestigium. And I was like, Yeah, I know how you feel about Black Gold and Black Oud and all that stuff. But he said, Get the Uvanil, you'll like it. So let's go. As y'all know, I like to keep my boxes and my plastic. Okay. And uh, we'll be added to the cage back here. I'll turn my lights on and let y'all see the cage in a minute after we talk about this. So we open it up. Woohoo! Got the pouch. Okay. Where's the paper? I'm not as prepared back here as I am when I'm in the lab. You know what I mean? All right, where are my scissors? Duh, right there. Let's chop it up. Or maybe we'll put, we'll put some skin, we'll put some on the skin, and then we'll do a paper too, okay? So let's, let's put the paper up here. Okay, all right. Eat healthier. Stop eating sugars. Stop it. And 100, stop eating them ribs, man. Stop putting them sugar on the ribs. You don't know what them pigs been eating. All right, anyway. All right, so, as you see, it's the presentation. We got a box. A bag, spray it. Okay, that's it. I'm not going through the history of Man Sarah. I'm not going to do it. We already know what the history of Man Sarah is. We know Pierre Montal, all that goodie, blah, 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 blah. Nah. If you want to hear all that, go check out Red Lessons and all them cats. Me, I'm just here for the real deal. Buy it or not. I bought it, but this is a blind buy. And I'll be honest with you, I'll tell you if I don't like it. I'll keep it real with you. I will tell you, nah, I ain't feeling this joint. Let's go. Unscrew it. Y'all know the screw top. You know that. Let's go. Spray it on paper first. Nice spray. Nice spread. 
Okay, you smell ooh right from the door. Three sprays on the arm. You definitely smell that ooh from the yamin. Soon as you spray it, bam, ooh, what? But then the, the, the vanilla is right behind it. The vanilla is right, right, right behind it. So we're going to put this back in the box. Because y'all know how I do. Because I'm OCD. I like my stuff neat. Back in the box right here. That right there. And we're going to tape the box back up. Where's our tape at? Have our tape right here. All right. While we letting the ooze vanilla calm down and do its thing, do what it do. Sometimes you got the fragrance do what it do. All right, right now it's doing pretty good. And put that down there. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Pope be informing me like she know a good deal come up on something. She's like, Raj, Italian leather, tester, 155. I'm like, oops, don't spend money already. I'm out of money. Can't do it. All right. So that's the first open boxing. Ooh, vanilla. Yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely smell it. Ooh. Oh, I got honey ooh right here, baby. I could have had honey ooh, but I keep running everything up. I got honey ooh right here in a decant. So I got I got enough honey ooh to hold me over for the bottle. That's 20 mil. I got plenty of honey ooh to hold me over. I rather have that beautiful bottle though. You know I rather have that beautiful orange bottle. Hold on while I turn the lights on to the Yami. Hold on. One light, two light, three light. We'll light up a little bit. One light, two light. I want to blink a little bit. This is a little pain behind light. You don't want to act right. Act right light. I don't know why it does that. There you go. Two light. Three light. So we got lighting them up. The light up here. These right here supposed to be LED lights, but they're really not. That's great. If I turn off this light, will y'all see me good? Sure, you still see me. Okay, good. My oh, man said you need another cage, man. No, I don't. So what happened with me, man. I start with one cage, I get another cage, and all of a sudden I want to buy more stuff. Okay? So now y'all can see the cage. Kind of lit up back there. Got a little, got a little lighting thing going on. And y'all can see there's my wrap. This is my wrap for my cage, so whenever they say uh they want to come in and look around, I cover up my cage as such. Woohoo! Put the wrap on it. No more cage. There you go. Now you can't even see the cage. No cage for you. No. Not yet. We'll reopen the cage shortly, but right now it's covered up. Except for the top. All right, so Uvanel still doing what it do. The thing about it, it smells like, it smells papery. <laughs> it smells like you spray vanilla on a piece of paper. So let's smell what it smells like for the vanilla to be on a piece of paper. Yep, smell like vanilla on a piece of paper. But check out, there is a difference. The difference is, on the paper, I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit of, not, I'm getting more of raw, I'm not getting floral, I'm getting rosy. It smells a little rosy on paper. It smells sweet on paper. That vanilla is crazy. This oud, this like the oud vanilla, like, uh, move, move. No, you move, move. No, move, 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 move. Then, yo, oh yeah, I, I got I got some skills. Don't worry about it. Hey, yo, man. Young bad boy saying, move. The, the oud vanilla is fighting. They fighting like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. I'm gonna be the boss. I'm be the boss. I'm a heavyweight champion. No, man. It's crazy. But it smells good. So, I got another couple coming in. I'm not going to wait till they come in before I surprise you with the other two I have coming in. But right now, ooh, vanilla. If you like vanilla, and you like ooh, buy it. 
and go to the mother pages to find out when they made it and how long they've been in existence and how many stories they got around the country. Go, go, go with it. All right. Next open boxing will lead into the other situation. I just ran out to grab this real quick. Okay. I just ran and grabbed this real quick. Okay. You see where this came from. You see where this came from. And let me tell you something. I really appreciate Nia because, you know, through all the, the drama and everything that people say I create in, in the fragrance community, because I'm not part of Fragcom anymore, as you well know. Y'all do know I resigned from Fragcom. <laughs> so anyway, he still sticks by me, man. He don't care. He don't care about the drama, man. He don't care about, you know, what people say about me. He does not care, man. And I'm there to support him, man, because he know he because he gets to see the real me. You guys get to see when I pretend when I'm doing the Roger Persona thing. Y'all guys get to see that, which is not what you're going to see tonight because I'm calming down. You get that in the morning or maybe in the afternoon, but at night you're not going to get the screaming, yelling Raj thing. It's not going to happen. But um, that's what I do. So I, I really appreciate Nia. I appreciate his mom, Tally. I'd appreciate uh, Brian because they know whatever I do on Facebook or whatever I do on YouTube, man, it's all love, man, especially for them. Man. I got a lot of love for perfumology, man. If it wasn't for them... I would have known about uh, zoologists and my man, actually zoologists, I ran into them because my man um, P-Mac, the photographer, said, yo, you got to go to this place, man. They got zoologists. And I wasn't doing nothing that day. I just happened to be off. I'm like, where? He was like, they got a place called uh, a Sense. It was, it was called something else. They was in there the kiosk and they had another place on the second, uh, on the second floor. And he was like, Yo, just go to the second floor, blah, 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 and they right there. And that's how I first met uh, Brian. That's how I first met Brian. I didn't meet Nier. I met Nier for a while, but thank you guys, man. I appreciate you. I show love to them, man. They show love to me. They don't care what goes on Facebook. They don't care about subs. They don't care about nothing I talk about. All they know is when we talk with me, we talk, we talk as adults, and we have fun, and we laugh at the frag kind of stuff because it really ain't that deep. All right, here we go. So another open boxing. What did we get today? You going to be serious 100 or you just going to keep playing around? It's up to you. I'm still going to keep it going. I'm ignoring you tonight because I got to I gotta get in bed. So I'm not going to play with you tonight. We'll play another time. I got to get ready to get in the bed. You busy smoking ribs, putting sugar juice on them. All right. Uh, Max Hussler said... Saying about it, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. But for me, it smells papery, too. It smells it smells chemically papery. But the vanilla is very strong in this. Very strong in this. Bam! 4160, Tuesdays, London. Sarah McCarthy. How you doing, Karen? Sarah, if you see this vid. Sarah, I would like to get... Sarah, I would like to get my samples, Sarah. I'm waiting for my samples. Sarah's going to be sending me some samples. But the thing about it is, most of the fragrances that I buy for perfumology and air in them, most of those fragrances I get from them, they're not even on Fragranica. This one right here, you can't find on Fragranica. I looked it up all day. You cannot find this. You can find them talking about on base notes. You can find them talking about any place else. You're not going to find this with a list of notes on Fragranica. So when I asked her about that, she said she don't have, she didn't want Fragranica to have everything that she had. So she didn't submit everything that she did to Fragranica. She didn't. This is one of them. And I got a couple more. So let's start off with indie houses, okay? And I like my indie houses. Okay, we can take that down now because I'm tired of looking at it. I like my indie houses. Again, to start off with zoology. Zoologists. But actually, before zoologists, it actually started with imaginary authors, with Josh. Because I didn't know anything about indie houses at that time. You know, getting into the game, I was going straight for, you know, the more popular houses. I was going for, you know, Amwage and all those houses. That's what I was doing. I didn't know anything about indie houses. I had no idea what indie was, Skindy, Mindy, I don't care. I had no idea what they were. But, um, yeah, yeah. I like indie houses, and Sarah's one indie house that I've just been introduced to that I really, really like. And the fragrance I picked up tonight... Every time I went into perfumology, I kept smelling this. Every time. And I, I was picking up everything else but this one. And this will probably be my last one. Maybe one more. 
once she sent me the samples, I get to smell something else. But right now, this is the last one I'll probably be picking up from uh, Perfumology. And this one is called, and the thing about it is you got to be able to read her labels because they're real small on the side. So I'm going to, uh, it's called Miss, I got to read it again. Hold on. I'll tell you what it says. Hold on. Okay. I mean, I knew what it was, but I want to make sure I said it right because I saw two different names online. I saw Mrs. Gloss, Miss, Miss Goss. Mrs. Gloss Lemon Sherbet. And you talking about some lemon. Now, I've always been waiting to get up enough cash to buy the Aqua Viva from, from our Perfum Perfume Aroma, which is up at Oswald's. But it just seems as though that money's not going to come across Unless I find it somewhere with a partial bottle, which is not happening. So in the meantime, this lemon right here. And not just say in the meantime, because this is some good lemon right here. Lemon sherbet. Here we go. Nice spray. And I sprayed on last. I know what it smells like. I, have to, I spray it every time I go to the store. Every time. Lemon and vanilla. Period. That's it. There may be more notes. Lemon and vanilla. So we got lemon and vanilla on this arm. And this dog on shame, I haven't taken my shower yet. So I'm going to get in here and wash this off. So when I take the shower, we're going to see if somebody needs to still on my arms by the time I get in the shower in the next 15 minutes. Oud vanilla, lemon sherbet. And to me, you might as well call this lemon vanilla. Okay? Oud vanilla, lemon vanilla. Because this is lemon and vanilla all day long. And it smells so good. Well... Okay, I've had Chanel and Dish and Blanc, and that was like I couldn't believe. You know, when I when I got out the niche game, I mean, when I got out the designer game, that was when I held on to a little bit longer than the rest of them. They came in the silver bottle, and I remember sitting right over there on my on my desk, and I kept that one the longest because I really didn't want to get rid of it. I really did like uh, Chanel Blanc. I really did. Uh, the difference between this and Chanel Blanc, I think, is Chanel Blanc wasn't as lemony. Now, I can't remember. It's been a while, but, yeah, I don't know. See, I'm not sure about the dry down on this either, and nor did I find out about the dry down on uh, but Chanel because I didn't wear it that much. I didn't wear it that much, man. So, uh, your cage is full with designs anyway. This guy, he just, he just cannot stop, can you, 100? Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, it's very nice. So, we're going to talk about the house of, 4160 Tuesdays, and uh, I forgot what she said it meant. If you counted 41, if you counted 41 and 60 Tuesdays at the time that she started the label, somebody like dad's birthday or something like that. I forgot what it was, but anyway, <laughs> he's stupid. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah. Another one that I have. From 4160 is Mother's Nature's Naughty Daughter. This is good too. It has strawberry in it. Oh man. Oh, this is good. And the reason I the reason I think what also kept me from getting lemon sherbet for so long, because this has that kind of vibe. I mean, it's not it's, it's not really on that vibe, but it's there. In other words, it has that sweet, lemony flavor, but there's, I don't think there's any lemon in here. There's strawberry in here, but there's no lemon in here. And um, definitely, this is more complex a scent than lemon sherbet. Lemon sherbet, like I said, is lemon and vanilla. This right here is a complex. This has woods in it. Uh, a little bit different, you know what I mean? I'm not sure I haven't really reviewed this yet, or shall I say interpreted this yet, so I can't really tell you. Because I haven't worn it a long time. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, this is good. This is good. This is good. Mother Nature's Naughty Daughter by 4162Z. Sarah McCarthy hit the ball right again. I can't get enough 4160s. I'm telling you. Next. We have one I just bought. Not too long ago. And this is called Buddha Wood Box. Oh boy, you talking about some Buddha Wood? This thing is 
crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. You just don't know what you're going to get from this. You know, you get you get the wood box, but you get the... I call it... I don't, look, I, I asked Sarah, did she have onions in Because somebody else said on the Fogranica Review that it smelled like onions. And that's what made me think that it smelled like onions because somebody else said it. But then when I sprayed it, yeah, it just smelled like onions a little bit. I smell something sourly oniony, but it's like a foody onion, like an onion that you can eat. And like mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm serious. That's what it smells like to me. You <laughs> mash this guy. I mean, it does. It's really foody, but it's the Buddha wood. I, mean, I never smelled Buddha wood before. Never smelled Buddha wood in my life. Well, I know what Buddha wood smells like now. It smells like this right here. This is crazy. It's semi sweet, woody with the Buddha wood, but then you got that. Oh, man, I don't know what to call this oniony flavor. Because it doesn't last through the whole scent. It really doesn't. You know, you just get that when you first spray. You get this, this oniony thing going on. Or spicy. I'm not onion spice. Whatever. It's onion or spice. It's like that. Yeah. But when it dries down, it's mainly a semi-sweet wood. If it's Buddha wood, never smelled Buddha wood before, bam, it's semi-sweet Buddha wood. It's different. Nobody's going to be wearing this in particular day, and it smells better at the top of the nozzle than it does when it goes on the skin initially. So if you're just spraying it from right here, and you spray it, you're like, oh, this smells pretty good. But if you put it on your skin, it's different. It's definitely different on your skin. Yeah, it's definitely different on the skin than it is on the paper. This guy is ooh this behind. And leather oud. I'm not sure what it is about you and leather oud and oud is behind. I don't get it. Now, people can't see you commenting. I get, I'm not sure. What's, what's going on, DN? What's going on? How you feel, my brother? Everything's good? What's going on, Flat? Everything's good with y'all. Sorry y'all a little bit late coming in, but you know, you can always rewind it. I'm dealing with any house of 4162s. We had the open boxing. Uh, just to keep you up to date of oud vanilla for Mancera, okay? Next from the ND House of 4160. I'm working my way back to the first one I bought. And this one right here is called Mrs. Gloss Made Me Do It. This right here is another winner. Another winner. Another winner. It's in between Sherbet. It's in between Sherbet and Mother Nature Naughty Daughter to me. It's in between them two when it comes to the scent. It's right in between. This smells more, this smells more lemony, this smells more lemony than, than, than the uh, Mother Nature Naughty Daughter, but less lemony than Sherbet. Definitely less lemony, but almost close. It definitely almost close, but it's telling you, it's just, it's just right, it's right on the cusp. It's right on the cusp of smell like lemon Sherbet. Almost on the cusp, almost being like almost identical, but it's not. Because this dries down a totally different way. It dries down to some nice woody type. It's not floral. This right here is kind of animalic too. Almost like it's like it, like it has a little bit of a um uh the next one we pull up. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. This one has a mix of one. My last one we're going to pull up, which is my number one favorite from the house of 4160. And you know what it is. From Max Hustler and Sarah McCarthy collaboration. Maxed out. Oh. Coconut, leather, animalic, castorium, civet, something's in here. Bedtime. Woo! First one that I bought for 4160. And I was so happy that Perfumology had it. I was so, so, so happy. So happy. You picked up Corrigan? Congratulations. Did you get it for Perfumology? I hope you did. If not, Lord, you have it. That's cool too. Yeah. This this bad boy is crazy. It's a little bit of everything. 
We got perfumology. Very good. Very good. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm not sure if he mentioned you, by the way. He said somebody tried to get in contact with him, but since I just see your moniker down there, I'm not sure your real name. He had mentioned who it was. I'm like, well, name doesn't ring any familiarity to me, but yeah, definitely. That's not C money. Maxed out. Maxed out. Definitely. Yep. I don't have any I don't have any coupons I can give you all for going to perfumology because it ain't about that. I just wanna I just wanna help him and help you guys get sense that you might may not be able to I mean you're definitely not gonna be able to find these in Neiman's and Nordstrom or anything like that, you know? And um yeah, definitely uh Get perfumology a try. Like I said, I, don't, I can't say mention my name and get 15% off or 10% off or 5% off. All I can say is he's going to take good care of you. And I'm sure if you mention it, Raj said, check he out. I'm sure he'll probably give you some samples or something, maybe. I'm not sure. But that's up to you and him. That's up to you and the store. That's up to y'all. I can't do that. All I can do is say, check my man out. All right? Um, Rose Chapre. Oh. Now I want to talk about it. I didn't want to pull it out, baby. I pulled that out. We're just going to end the show. Uh, but uh, Andy, I spoke with Andy today. And I told you, you got to get a card. A card is next, then Galad. Okay? A card, then Galad. Um, Galad is more animalic. A card is more wear friendly. But Galad is good too. I wore Galad around some women too, and they liked it. Um, yeah, I contacted Andy. That's like, Andy, look here. My man has your, your juice in his shop. I said, but he has Lone Star Memories, which I've been, that's what I've been smelling all day, Lone Star Memories. And it's gone. It kind of dried down to an incense a little bit, though. I kind of like, yo, it smells incense-y. I was really surprised because it smelled leathery and and freaking, not florally, but it was lemon and, I mean, not lemon. See, I'm all mixed up now. It was leather. Earlier, it was just leather and, and, and it was just popping this hard leather with like a slight wood booze to it. Lone Star Memory. I mean, it just smelled like, it smelled like a cowboy. It really did. Uh, with a leather jacket that probably was like, 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 you got finished doing with some cows or something. That's what Lone Star Memory smell like. Really, I battled. I really battled through Lone Star Memories for like a whole hour. I was battling through it. I really was. So uh, I got a few samples uh, from there last night. So I got to really check it out. And I got my boxes in, by the way. So D. Canton is about to start. The boxes are here. The bottles are here. Five mil bottles are here. So I'll be starting the D. Canton next week. Okay. So if you want anything you want to check out, let me know. Got the decan boxes. Everything not going to be available. But, like, if you wanted this, I'm probably going to be one five mil out of these, and that's it. I'm not going to do any more. So, first come, first serve, okay? So, anyway, maxed out. 4162s. She's doing a great job. I can't wait to smell the other ones that she already sent me. I can't wait to get here. Along with, I can't wait to Andy send me his. And I put a request for five in. Uh, orange. Uh, the orange piece. The uh, concentrated... LDDM. No, I ain't answered that because because our perfumology has that. Uh, perfumology has four. They have LDDM. They have the Cure, uh, uh, All Cure. They also have Low, Low, and they have um, Lone Star Rider. So they have four up there. But I told Andy to send me the Incense Rose, uh, the Orange. I forgot the name of the Orange one, and uh, a couple of them. He sent me five. So. And check that out. All right, so that's it for Sarah McCarthy. So I have six of those now, five of those. I have five. And there they are, okay? Let's talk about another indie house. The reason the reason why I know about perfumology. Zoologists. Now, zoologists, I have not bought a full bottle yet. What I have invested in, and he has a sampler set, by the way. You can get, I think you get five or six of them in there. But I bought all my individuals. These are all my zoologists right here in the tubes. Because I really had to wait to find out what I really want to buy. Um, my man JT, though, JT has just about all of them in bottle form. He's bought about six bottles of the zoologists. And uh, 
I like bad. I, I like zoology because it is for the art. Really artsy. Wong did a good art thing with these. Um, Rhinoceros is the leather one. This is the one I kind of like a little bit. See, I got I got a lot left in there. Um, I don't I don't like it as much as I like the other ones. Really, I just don't. Uh, I just think it's a little bit too um, too leathery for me. But that's not what I smell. You know, zoology is not about smelling the note more than you're going to get some of that zoologist before you smell the actual, you know, complexion and the complexity of the scent, right? But, I mean, it's, it's a good scent. I like the way it comes off. It got a mixture of pan. It comes off real dry. It's like a real dry, real dry leather. Real dry. Like, 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 like a, like a rhinoceros butt. Like, you smell the rhinoceros butt he walking by or a rhinoceros skin, whatever. But more like you'll smell from the back because you don't want to get hit with that horn. You smell his butt, you smell like a rhinoceros butt. I don't know. I never smelled the rhinoceros butt. But if you ask me, this smells like a rhinoceros butt. I thought I liked camel. I thought I liked camel. Um, But I didn't like the dry down of a camel. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to do any interpretation or anything else, uh, but I put that on the list, and I'll do that uh, another time. I do have ooh bouquet. Yes, I do. It's, uh, it's right there. I don't have no idea why. All of a sudden, this is starting to do what it wanted to do. Let's try it this way. Yeah, it's, uh, ooh bouquet is uh, right there. It's right there. But we, we'll talk about that another time. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to get too... Off stray. I want to stay here within the program of the indie houses, okay? Right now, this is okay. Not one of my faves. Next. We have Bat. Now, Bat. Now, Bat. Bat is just unbelievable. I bet it's just crazy. It's just, how was somebody, this stuff just. He sprayed this in the shop last night to let this young lady named Regina smell it. I, I said, you must spray bat. What's going on? What's going on, Christian? Bat is unbelievable. The thing about bat is bat is an art. And as you can see, it's almost gone. Bat is an art for me. Bat is an art. But the beautiful thing about it is right now it smells like dirt. It smells like a bat cave. It smells like dirt. And I was surprised. I don't have that much left on spraying it because I knew I was going to get a bottle. That's why I sprayed it out. You got to buy bat for the art. Because you got to wait too long for it to get to the greeny thing that's going to happen at the end. At the end, it's going to smell like a green type incense. To me, it smells like Vert D. Ascends by Tom Ford when it dries down. Uh, I haven't smelled Gallagher, so I don't know. I haven't had an opportunity to uh, get down with Gallagher. I don't know. I think I, I don't know about the new... I didn't know they had a new formulation of Bat. I wasn't sure whether he ran out the resources for that. I know he made a new formulation for Panda, but I'm not sure for Bat, so I can't tell you. I can't tell you. But this right here, this bad cave is unbelievable. And the way it transitions after about a couple hours when it transitions, you still smell the dirt, but it's not like that. Bat is one of my favorites. Again, for the art. And um, amazingly enough, I was in Neiman's when I when I went and got this. And I brought it downstairs to a young lady named Sydney. And she worked at Neiman's at the time. Very cute young lady. And uh, I didn't think she would like it. So she said, where you coming from? I said, I'm coming from a place called Perfumology upstairs. I said, y'all got a little competition going on up there because they have stuff you don't have here. She's like, really? I said, check this out right here. And she smelled. She's like, oh. In fact, I had a sample. I got in a sample. She said, that smells so good. I'm like, you like that? She's like, this smells good. It smells like freaking dirt. It really does. I don't know why she thought this smelled good. And a young lady named Regina last night who was in the store with me and there liked it too. It smells like dirt. But it's the art. But it smells good when it dries down. See, the thing about a woman is she can smell past all that bull crap that you guys be putting out. That's exactly what it is. A woman can smell past all this and already know that it's going to be good at the end. It must be why she said it smelled good. All right? Let me keep going. That is bad. Next. I'm not sure because I don't have them. I don't know the other I'll pull them out the tube. Okay. Uh, haven't smelled kryptonite or kryptomint. Haven't ever smelt it. Next one is panda. This is the old formulation of panda. 
As you can see, it's green. The new formulation of Panda is not green. The new formulation is a little bit uh, orangey, I think, something like that. But this is the first Panda right here with the green. And I liked it. Not again, not one of my favorites. Definitely animalic. It definitely smells like zoo a little bit. He keeps that zoo thing going. But it has this green accord. You can smell the green. I mean, the juice is green. You can just smell the green. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I just don't know when I will wear these. Out of the three right now, the, the, the bat, the rhinoceros, and the panda, I don't know when I will wear these. I just don't know. I, I can just see myself probably wearing these out with the homies. So far, these three, they're homie pieces. Yo, man, let's go play some pool. All right, cool. We're going to play some pool. That's it. I, I'm not wearing this out with a female. I'm just not. I don't think she's going to be able to deal with it. Because I can barely deal with it. Not barely in a bad way. But I'm saying barely in the way that I'm dressed. If I'm dressed with some jeans, I'm chilling. That's good. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't find a place to wear that right off the top. My next one. Civet. Now, the funny thing about civet is, I don't smell any civet in it, but it smells good. This is probably my favorite right here is civet. This is it. Who is this? Here's another joker. Here come another joker. These ooh guys, ooh just behind the leather ooh. Here he go. Mr. Funny Man. <laughs> Y'all two, go ahead and do your thing, man. Civet, I can wear. Civet, I can wear this out because it has a semi-sweet accord. It almost smells a little florally. And it almost kind of reminds me of something else that I have. I just don't know what it is. But this is semi-floral. I smell, I don't smell leatherness. I smell just more suede than leather, if you ask me. I think it's more suede than leather. Absolutely. I mean, out of, out of, out of the four, this is civet, civet. I will wear this out. Again, I can't give you too much information because I really didn't check them out like that. You know what I mean? Yes, I have smelled Naxos in Virginia in, uh, in my man's shop, Parfums de France. And yes, it does almost smell like Terry Mugler's Pure Havan. Which is why I won't buy it. What's going on, MD? It smells good, though. It's just a richer vo version of, of, of Pure Havan to me. But it smells good. Not so smell good, but I'm not if I'm, I'm not gonna know, I don't know if I'm spending all that money for that. For to get something that almost smells like something else. You know? Not that much money. Not you get a good deal, partial bottle, or something like that, yes, but nah, nah. Alright, here we go. Maca. Okay? Maca. I like this one too. It's another one I like. Let me remind myself of it. Yeah, I like Maca. Again, it has that it has that zoo flavor, has that whatever it is. We're just gonna say it has the zoologist DNA. That's what we're gonna say. It has that DNA. Yes, indeed. The DNA is in all of these. I mean, this is not a bright a DNA as it is in rhinoceros or bat. Well, really bat. I can really deal with bat too. You been drinking one hundred? You been drinking, cuz? Yeah, I like this one as well. I do like macabre as well. So, Civet, macabre, those are the two I really like most so far. Okay? Alright. And last but not least from the House of Zoologists that I have, is going to be a uh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly is real light. I think the dragonfly is really feminine. I think this is really made for female. Of course, it crosses genders, of course. I mean, I'm sure it crosses genders. I'm sure there are some, some guys who like this too, but I think really this is kind of they kind of made this for uh, for females. But it smells good. I mean, a man can pull this off if you don't mind having a little floor aspect to your game. You can pull it off. I had no problem wearing floors from time to time, so you know, it really all just pins, but uh <laughs> Y'all must be cousins. Y'all two must be cousins. You and Hunt must be cousins, right? 
Because y'all are crazy about that ood. <laughs> ood is behind the leather ood dudes. That's what they do. They funny. Yeah, but it smells good. Dragonfly smells good. And uh, the color of this juice right here is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of clear. Not totally clear. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I like, yo, I put on Bulletproof last night. I took a shower. I woke up this morning, didn't really smell it, but I still spritzed off in the morning. And I started smelling Bulletproof in the afternoon. It was still on my skin under here in the afternoon. Tokyo Bulletproof is what I'm going to get when I get the next one. It's going to be Bulletproof. The other one they talked about was Arsenic, but I really didn't dig Arsenic. And I think there was another one too. But Bulletproof, when it comes to Tokyo Milk, Bulletproof lasts forever, man. That bad boy lasts forever. I, I would definitely go with uh, uh, Bulletproof. Okay? So that's my zoologist in the house. And my favorites from that house. And the last house but not least, of course, got to be Josh House. So let's go. Falling into the sea, definitely an aquatic. Definitely something you would like. It almost smells salty, though. The thing about it is it almost smells salty. You got the notes on the back. Lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lychee, tropical flowers, and warm sand. Definitely. Oh, uh, I didn't get a chance to smell mist, man. In fact, I was supposed to smell mist before I left out of there, didn't I? Hey, man, I'm going to have to text him. I'm going to text him, man. I say, look, you forgot to let me smell mist. Now I've got a chance to smell it, man. I got a chance to smell it. Forgot to smell it last night. So anyway, oh, uh, yeah. Fall into the sea. One of my favorites, of course, Cape Hardy. I just can't get enough of this strawberry and this doggone pine resin and all this. I can't. Mm, mm, mm. I just can't get enough. And this is the season of winter. As you see, I'm getting very, very low. Getting very low because I got into this bad boy right here. I was wearing this like sometimes twice a week around now because it'll cut through the whole day, especially in the snow. It'll cut. This might be my number one. Might be. Can't tell you that yet, though. Next. Ooh, I know. Paper. Smells like paper. Smells like 90, 1996 to me. Also has a little bit of another 13 vibe going on with it, too. Just papery. I call it... What did I call this? Something sprayed on paper. It just smells like ink on paper. That's what it smells like. But when it dries down, it spills pretty doggone good. The notes in this is uh, black tea, uh, lepaloon, lepaloon, long, long tincture, orris butter, cayuto musk, moss, musk balsam, sandalwood, and question mark. I already told you what the question mark is. Paper. No, comic book. That's a comic book. Comic book. The mysterious note in this is called comic book. But that's what it smells like a comic book. All right? And I like it. Next. Slow explosions. This is my number two. One of the last ones that I bought. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what's going on though? This kind of remotely, without the fig, it reminds me of the next one we're going to check out. This is good. This is so small. I got, I got, man, I got, I got a, a, yes, I did. I got a lot of compliments on this when I wore it to Platinum Grill. Karaoke night. Yes, indeed, I have fat electricians. Yeah, fat electricians, good to go. Fat electricians is good to go. Vanilla vetiver. Not as good, there's not as good a vanilla vetiver as 1899, Historia's Death Parfums. It's not that good. But it is a good vetiver vanilla. And that's over there in that cage. Fat Electrician is good, though. Definitely. Definitely check that out. And where can you get Fat Electrician? Another indie house? Perfumology. That's right. Okay, next. Yep. Yesterday's Haze. And that's why I smell a little bit of Yesterday's Haze and Slow Explosions, or a little bit of Slow Explosions and Yesterday's Haze. Yesterday's Haze. I do. I do. So there's a twist going on between these two. These bad boys right here. There's a twist. I don't know if there's a note. I like, I really like this one too. Um, 
I'm not sure if there's any notes in here that's common. Not really. But these two kind of cross each other's paths to me. They cross each other's paths, especially in the sweetness. They kind of... Because you wouldn't think slow explosive is that sweet, but it is. It has a sweetness to it. And so does yesterday's haze. So these two cross paths for me, I like them both equally. Cobra and the Canary. Now you talking about leather? Lemon leather. And I had so many lemon leathers, I just sold one lemon leather uh, to the young lady. Actually, I swapped it. And she's sending me a Vanilla 44. So I had 30 mil Vanilla 44 on the way in. Can't wait to get that. Can't wait to get that. I know what it smelled like. I had a little sample of that. Vanilla 44 is on its way in. I got a couple of pieces coming in. I got a couple of pieces coming in. I don't have City on Fire, though. No, I don't have that. I know this guy would want that so bad, man. I was going to go and buy it if he had to swap me with the right juice. He didn't want to swap me with the right juice. So I didn't buy it. But uh, City on Fire is too smoky for me, man. And, I mean, it's, it's almost as smoky as Perfumo Roma's uh, Arso. Arso is definitely smoky. Arso is a fire that just got put out. I got to hurry up, y'all. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm going too long. Um, Yeah, Cobra Canary. Lemon leather. Bam, bam, bam. I just sold, I mean, I just swapped up Scoro is what I had. And that's kind of lemony leather to me. Didn't really need it. Swapped with her for the Vanilla 44. There's another house out, man. She has, I was trying to get the juice from her, but I could not get it. I could not get it out of hand. And the name of this house is called, um, that's not Herv. I forgot it. When I find out, I'll tell you what it is. Very nice fragrance. Supposed to smell like uh, Armour Sultan with more incense. Um, what what was that again? What do you want for that Cobra Canary? I'm not. I'm not getting rid of Cobra Canary. Absolutely not. That's not going to happen. No, not swapping no Josh juice. That ain't going to happen. A uh, quick question. Which fragrance do you think I should buy? Pearl Oud. Never smelled it. Stream Oud or Gold Oud. I haven't smelled none of those, so you're going to be on your own on that, buddy. Never smelled any of those Ouds. I smell Amber Oud, Incense Oud, Musk Oud. And black oud. Out of all the ooze, I like musk. I think it was very, to be musky, it was a very semi-sweet oud. I even had all the killings. They sent me all the killings um, straight from France, yo. They hooked me up. And I got, I had the whole line. I had everything. I got, I had all the ooze. I had, only one I didn't have was extreme oud. That's the only one. But out of all those, I mean, out of the ones that I've smelled, that I've liked, uh, musk oud is the one I like more. All right, last but not least, and it's going to be the end of our show. Of course, y'all know what the classic is, Memoirs of the Trespass, which is the first one I bought, and as you can see, we're eating to that juice. Okay, we're eating to that juice. All right? Yeah. So that Cobra Canary. <laughs> Come on and beat your brakes. All right. Oh, that's funny. Uh, musk and leather ooch. Come on, man. Stop playing. I like mosaic. And believe it or not, like most of my doggone scents that I buy in houses, I always get the best one last. Let me tell you. I got rid of, I got rid of Jidge off Neo in anticipation of buying mosaic. I had, I had Jidge off Neo. As I smell mosaic, so I'm like, I don't need Neo. I don't need Neo. I don't need Neo. No, Mosaics took care of that. And I don't even have Mosaics. But I'll have it soon, believe it or not. Okay? So, uh, heaven willing. So that's what I got. So those are my three indie houses tonight. There they are. Okay? 4160s Tuesdays. All right, London. Zoologists. And, of course, Imagining Authors. All of which you can buy from... Perfumology. All right? So give him a play. Give him a call. Tom Ride said, look. So I ride video. He told you he had these up there. And he has more. He has Juliet has a gun up there. And if he has Nasamato, you know, you got it going on. He got Yay Yay. If y'all in the Yay Yay, I like Yay Yay. Uh, uh, of course, he has some Bodiceas. He don't have all the Bodiceas, but he has some Bodiceas. Y'all know he has Manceras. And he's getting in more and more. He's trying to get the Montal line in. He's getting it in. So, yeah, definitely. 
I have Julian has a gun. I have the best one I think is Midnight Oud, and I do have that one. Okay. Rob, can you please review Oud Isfahan body spray and moisturizer? Oud Infinity, whatever that is. Oud Infinity. Oh, that thing stay. Oud Infinity smells like Oud Isfahan, which also smells like Oud S by Man Sarah. Let me tell you what makes all those go bye bye. I'm gonna pull it out. This scent right here makes all of your oud scents go bye bye. Bye bye. You don't blow them out the water. I'm sorry. It's just the way it goes. Oud is behind. Oud infinity or infinity and leather oud. Oud touch by Frank Olivier. We'll smoke them bad boys. We'll smoke them. It smells better. It smells better. It doesn't have that skanky, skunky oud. And it's very wearable right from the door. You get the oud, you get the rose, and you get that really medicinal oud. I mean, this right here basically can be like a Montal or a Mancera. It's the same type of oud. It can be one, it can be a mind top. It got is that dry ooh. Is that dry ooh? Man, this ooh, this ooh vanilla is now just vanilla and ooh. But the vanilla has taken over. Wow, yeah, this is good. E dot, thank you as usual. E dot is the man Sarah Montal King. So when he says, it goes, okay? Your bottle game, getting monsters over there, you're intimidating the women you over. Man, you know what? When women come over here, man, they love to sniff, man. Try blue sapphire. Uh, I would not be even trying that because I'm definitely not buying it. It's $868. It's not going to happen. But feel free to send me a sample. Ooh, touch. Put ooh this behind. Ooh, this free. And leather ooh to shame. And this doesn't even have any freaking leather in it. And it's right here, right here, $35. $35, and it lasts just as long as Ooh This Fine. But think about Ooh This Fine. You can't wear it. Where are you going to wear Ooh This Fine to? Uh, how's that man, Sarah, compared to the Saphir joint? Well, the Saphir is uh, much more. Um, the Saphir is much. I think it's more. Um, more, more of a mixture. I'm smelling more. Um, this is what he's talking about, Zephyr. Ah, uh, ooh. I'm smelling more. Uh, 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 more than just ooh, and and, and what you call it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you can smell the rose right off the door. You can smell ooh and rose. As soon as you spray ooh touch, you smell ooh and rose. Frank Olivier got some nice stuff. He got this one called Passion. That one's good, too. Oh, man. All right, let me see. I'm going to go up a little bit more. I'm stretching my... Okay, so we just spray Safir Aoud. Okay. We can create a block... Uh, we can create a block Zawir and my other man because they whack. Uh, check out Amber Loop. I will as soon as I can get a sample of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sebastian, I, I, yeah, Sebastian, that's Sebastian's favorite uh, Amber is uh, is Amber Loop. Yeah, as soon as I get some loot for that, I will. Man, I spend so much money, man. It really got to be a standout for me to get it. Amber Loop is a nice standout. You don't get a lot for the money. I'm more bang for the money per cent, per dollar, per non-popularity. Yeah, see, Sephira so Oud, is, it has more going on with it. You get the leather more. I mean, you get the, the you get the vanilla more in this than you get the oud. Whereas when you spray oud vanilla, you get the oud more. But when it comes to both of those, this is spicier. It's a spicy. There's a spicy tinge twinge to this. A spicy twinge. Okay. I'm going to block one hunter, and I'm going to block uh, who's my other man? I'm, I'm blocking. I'm blocking. I'm gonna block y'all. Get ready. Oh yeah, definitely, man. This and Irish, the ladies go crazy over Irish. 
Wild cherry is wearable if you don't spray a lot. Don't spray a lot of wild cherry. You're going to have a problem. You have to scrub it. Wild cherry is too strong to be spraying like I spray. You can't you can't 7-Eleven it. Y'all know I'm 7-Eleven. You cannot 7-Eleven a uh, 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 wild cherry. Don't do it. But it smells good. It smells like a good scent. It's like cherry and vanilla. Yeah, this 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 is more spicy, spicy thing. I have not tried anything from the house of Ood that's very new to me. I just found out about it. Um, no, not yet. But I'll probably be uh, soliciting them for samples very soon. Okay, so let me uh, put my juices back up, and y'all can watch me put my juices back up. How about that? We're gonna do that. Frank Olivier is a the house is out of Paris. I guess I can't say there's a niche house, but it is. I mean, I like everything. I got oh, I got. I have Oud Touch, Black Touch, and White Touch. I like them all, and I like Passion. I like them all. And where do I get all those from? Right, kind of lower to your niche. That's exactly right. Because you're not paying these prices. I mean, but for the price of Oud is behind as compared to Oud Touch, man, that's crazy. No, it's not a designer. It's definitely not a designer. It's not a designer. And it's not a copycatter either. It's not. All right, let me put my stuff up real quick. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves. I gotta put these juices up. Call a dusty cage while I'm putting the juices up, right? I'm going to dust it out a little bit. Because that's really my, that one over there is like my indie. It's my indie section over here, so. That's my indies, most of my indies go. Only because there's not really an indie in here. Actually, all these are indie. Because I consider, I consider Mimo an indie house. It's not really a, Mimo is not a big, big house. You know? So basically, by accident, actually by accident, I have all the indie houses over here, okay? So not only do we have 4160, we also have, um, we have 4160, we have imaginary authors. I gotta find room for this bad boy, just a new one, get in there. Woo, that's tight. Squeeze them and then pull them, there you go. Y'all know I gotta have a little cage designed a little bit. Y'all know how I am. I'm meticulous. Can't have my cage looking raggedy. Alright, that's good. We have Andy Tara, Um Chapre Rose. Oh my goodness. I need a I need a backup bottle of Um Chapre Rose. This this thing right here is magical. This is magical. I think it's the best one he's ever made. And we also have Fusion Sakri by Majda Bakali. Okay? Which is kind of any house. She only had like, she only had about seven cents, I think, something like that. So, and then we have Shea and Blue. I'm going to get more Shea and Blue, but I'm going to get some more of the salt caramel. And of course, we got Uda Leaf in there too. Okay? So, this is my, this is my any house cage right here. By accident, actually. And we have Argonus in here, or Agonus, which is vanilla marble. So we had that in there as well. So yeah, we got our indie houses in here. They're not the big houses. They are the indie houses. Okay. Now I gotta put all the, the Josh juice back in here. Oh, I forgot. Uh, a serenade. Serenade. What's it called? Every storm's a serenade. I forgot about that one. That's good as well. Every store is a serenade. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gets some oud oils one day. I'll start this. When I get bored with these, I'll, I'll, I'll probably set up a oud shelf. You know what I'm saying? I forgot how I had these set up. I think I'm going to get St. Julep's. Soon. 
St. Jude's really kind of reminds me of, um, St. Jude's actually reminds me of Sarah's uh, lemon sherbet a little bit. It has that real sweet thing going on with it. With the uh, gin, I think. What had gin in it? It has gin or something like that in it. Kind of reminds me of Sarah's uh, juice. Kind of reminds me of 4160 juice. It's like really, really uh, sweet. The St. Juleps. Anybody have St. Julep? I forgot how I had these set up in here, so I don't know. It was something like that. And that one came over there, and that one was in there, and that one was in there. Maybe that was over there. That was back there. I don't know. I had these set up. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to uh, throw them back in here. There we go. Something like that. And somehow like I had them. I can't believe I can't remember how I had these bad boys. And it's it dry. It's kind of messing me up right now. That's how I... Yo. This is really messing me up that I forgot how I had these set up in here. Maybe that was it right there. All right, anyway, that's it. That's, that's much energy I'm putting into that situation. Now I'm going to put the sticks back in here. The zoology sticks. Still can't remember how I had the Josh juice set up. It's upsetting me. Put the Udi touch back down here with the Udi's. And then, we can put the new Mancera on the Mancera shelf. And I had two more Manceras coming in, so it's going to be, this whole front right here is going to be Manceras. Right now, it's going to be have four. We had two more coming in. And I also have, uh, I have two more, um, I have like three more sits coming in, y'all. And they're going to be very, very different, so. They're definitely going to be different. Well, I told you I have uh, Vanilla 44 coming in. That's going to be coming in. So now I'll show y'all the cage real quick before I call it a night. I got to go ahead and eat my little... Eat my new cereal before I go to bed. That's what I do. Are y'all ready to look at the cage? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, the thing about it is, bro, is checking it out. I mean, I can get my access on some things up here, but House of Food, you know, I just got to call and try to get some samples unless somebody sent me some samples. That's about all I can do. Other than that, if you guys have samples, man, once you're done with them, you want to send them to me, I'll be glad to take them. That, that's the best I can do. But right now, I don't know anything about House of Food that I can really expound on. Or talk about. No, not right now. Okay. Uh, Yo, Raj, just wanted to apologize for going at you for the other reviewers. Just want to, just want all to get along. Oh, yeah, man, it's all good. It's all washed on the bridge, bro. We all good money. You know, I, I actually had more fun with it. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I had a lot of fun uh, playing around with that, playing around with that, uh, that subscription thing, man. Subscribers, whatever that was. Yeah, I had fun with that. It wasn't even that deep to me, man. I, I like, I just like to rile people up from time to time. Let me turn y'all around now so you can see my cage and stuff. I want to let y'all see my boxes. These are some of my boxes. As you can see, I have a lot of boxes up here along with my man bags. Got to have my man purses. 
But up here is like I got a whole bunch of boxes I keep up here. Then I count the boxes I have in my big box. But uh, y'all saw if y'all looked at my page, y'all saw the pictures of all the boxes I have. And there, so anyway. We can walk through the cage before I cover it up. As y'all well know, that's the Killian and Suspiros. All the Killians and the Suspiros right there. Then we have some more Killians out here, some refill bottles of Killians. Got this old Fougere bottle. I forgot he sold this. It's a nice box and keep stuff in. There's some uh, sprays. Black Phantom, I think, is up there. Okay. Then we have my sampler sets here, which is we got the Historia's Death Parfum sampler set. We have the um, All Factor Studio sampler set of where I got I got this from uh, Perfumology as well. I got to check out some of those. And he gave me the rest of the samples. Um, my favorite out of here, of course, is Sean Bradnor. Uh, Ombra, um, Ombra Indigo, Auto Portrait, those are mine. Uh, Nia likes Flashback. He's, he's in the Flashback. And here I got this from Nia too. The Eaton Bob sample set. There's four of them in there. So I got those from, uh, as well. I don't have 1001 Nights. Never even heard of that. That's a new one. Okay. Oh yeah, before I show y'all the cage, I'll show y'all something else too. This is a fake tobacco oud. Look at this bottle. That's a fake tobacco oud. See the bottle? Now y'all see all my Tom Fours here, right? So we know that bottle does not... I gotta get in the bed, man. Here I am, still messing around. Okay. Alright. See it? See the fake Tom Ford? When I get out of the game, I'm probably going to just uh, probably give it to my nephew or somebody. I don't know. But I'll be getting out of the game soon. I really, you know, I'm going to get back to my music very, very soon. I'm going to get back to running my studios again. But, uh, yeah, see that, see that bottle? Ain't there something? That fake time for a guy tried to get over on me with that fake tobacco. Ooh, he, he got me to buy it. So, obviously, he did get over on me, but I got my money back. And I told him I'm keeping a bottle. I said, give my money back and I'm keeping the bottle. He, I said, if you don't like that, then I'm going to give you a strike on eBay. He was like, no, go ahead, keep the bottle. Go ahead, you can keep it. I said, you best well I am. And I think I showed y'all the fake, the fake, uh, what's called? You can see all the, look at all the blemishes on this. This is a fake black orchid. See all, see all them scribbles and stuff like that? This one's jacked up. Look at it on the back. All messed up. They tried to fake that one too. Look at that. So there's your fakes right there. Stay away from the fakes. All right, now it's time to do the cage, and I gotta go to bed. I take a shower, spray myself up with the new juice. All right, here we go. Starting from the top is my new rearranged cage. We have Yamin back there. Finally got that. Got the road just sitting back there, and we got the Jirjoffs. We got the Hakura wood. You guys probably don't know anything about the Ajmal. How cruel wood. Gotta have that. Uh, let's see what else we have. Of course, we got the Armani Prees. We got this, the new YSL. Sleek Suede. We got the Robin Piquet's Visa. And they've got two Souls back there. Okay? All right. Coming out of here, I'm not going to explain everything I have. I'm just going to show you out of the cage. That's it.
Don't be jealous, bro. There ain't nothing to be jealous about, man. I share this stuff. Ain't just about mine, man. I'd like to share, too. Y'all know that. If I got enough juice, I'll definitely share it with you. Gonna cost you a couple, couple of pennies, but I'll share it with you. He said, what's the fragrance on the top left? I don't know, bro. I don't know. When 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 was the when did we see the top left? I'm not sure what what cage was it. Was it the first cage, the second cage, or the third cage? Uh, I I don't know. I'm not sure which one you was looking at. Far left over here. Right there. That one. That's a Yakima. By olfactory. So yes, yeah, Yakima. It's pretty cool. It's a real strong, uh, real strong oud piece, man. There's a lot of oud in this too. Um, it just doesn't calm down enough for me. I really, it's not one. Of, I like the bod. Really, I really, I swapped this with my man. I could have got, I could have got another black, black Afghano from him, but I had black Afghano, so I took this instead. Um. I, I don't know whether it's well blended or not. I don't know. What's going on, TM? I don't know whether it's well blended or not, to tell you the truth, because I really never wore this to really check it out. I never really took it out and took it for a run yet. So when I do, I'll, I'll definitely talk about it. But at this particular point, is just it's oud and a slight floral, maybe like a jasmine or something. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure what, what the heck is about yet. I don't know. Um this right here is a surprise for me. Baruta, Voyance, with the Osmanthus and the uh, and the tuberose and stuff. Man, this is this has really been crazy for me. Real surprise. I got this from Oswald Pear. I got this from Mr. Oz right here. Really, really good juice. Really good juice. Yeah. Well, y'all know what I'm selling. I'm not gonna go through what I'm selling. I have not tried chai. I have not tried chai, but I heard it's pretty decent though. I heard that's the best one in the line, or the Baruti line was Chai. So yeah, definitely. All right, y'all. So that's about it, man. I'm done. I got I to gotta get ready get ready for bed. All right, it was nice sharing with you guys, man. Thank y'all for checking out the video. Of course, like I said, I like to give y'all long video. I like to give y'all long videos, man, because, I mean, we're talking and we're chatting. I mean, everybody complain about me doing long videos where your videos are too long. Can you cut them short? I'm like, well, just stop looking when you want to stop looking and pick it back up the next day or something. You know what I mean? But I, you know, I just like do I, just, I like doing videos that's being interactive with people. You know, yeah, a lot of people don't, man. A lot of people complain, man. Your videos are too long. You know, you're long winded, and you know, as soon as I do a short video, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now that's how you do a video, nice and short. If I want to do a short video, I will. But I'm not. I don't want to do short videos. You know, I want to do interactive videos. I want to talk to people. I, I want to see what people are saying. I want to see if I can react. And, you know, again, if I, if I don't know what something is, I don't lie, man. I don't try to act like I know everything. I'm not, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm still a novice in this game. I don't know everything there is to know. There's over 30,000 semi fragrances out here. I can't possibly know everything about every fragrance. You guys know, about, know for fragrance, probably know more about fragrance than I do. Really? You know? But um, again, I like I like fragrances, man. I like messing around with them. I like smelling good. I like I know ladies like me smelling good, and that that's what it's all about for me, man. These 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 women, these women got to know I'm smelling good, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, again, man, I just I just like to share, man. So I'll, I'll be decant next week, uh, heaven willing, man. I'll, I'll I'll you know I'll I'll put a list up of everything I'm decanting, and you can kind of see. What's in my cage anyway, right? So, uh, you know, we, we can talk about decant next week. Depending on the price, man. It's probably gonna, nothing going to be over over $15, man. Now this is something real real heavy. Other than that, man, I'm not going to decant anything. Uh, I don't want it to be too much money, you know? I want everybody to be able to get their nose on something, but I can't give it away, you know? Now I can get, like, the samples away. I got some samples I can give away, but I can't give away, 
Can't give away the sauce like that. So, uh, here's where we're at. Now she's nice and covered up. And I just happened to find, I, just happened, I was looking through my boxes, man, happened to find this, this curtain right here. Whatever this is. I'm like, you know what? I can use that. There it is. All right. Look here, man. We, we can do something, man. We can always swap. We can always just change samples if you want. I mean, we can just swap samples. You know, we can swap five mils. Like I said, I got my bottles now. Got my five mil bottles just came in. You know what I mean? From SKS Industry. So, you know, we can swap samples, man. We don't, have, we don't always have to swap bottles, man. You know, you got you got a, you got some five mil decant bad boys. Let's swap those, man. You know, that'd be good enough for me. I don't need to have everything. And then that way you can find out whether you want to buy it or not. You know, but it's, I wouldn't mind swapping samples. I wouldn't, as long as you got sample, good samples to swap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I check out some oils. I, I'm down with, I'm not really an oud, oud head. You know what I mean? I can't say I'm, I'm, I'm going to like all the ouds, but I'm willing to try anything, bro. I'm willing to try anything once. You know what I mean? I think I heard of them too. Yeah, I got some oil right here. Got some oil right there, baby. Nora. Oil. All right, I'm out, y'all. Y'all have a great night, man. Sleep well, man. Get you some rest, man. I'm going to try to get me some rest. I got to be up early in the morning. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later, man. We out. Got to go. Deuces. You guys have a good one as well. I'm out. That, that. Yeah. All right, bye.